to show you the uh, quick and dirty way to merge mods. Um, usually there's two kinds of things that you need to merge. There's um, animations and there's a regulation file. Regulation files, I go over that in another video, but basically those determine the parameters for the game. And animation files are of course animation files. So let's say I want to merge two mods. These are both Clever's mods. Uh, we got Storm Demon and we got Earthbender. You can see that they both have a regulation file. You cannot just simply drag them over each other. One of them is going to overwrite the other. And if you look in here, you're going to see a C0000 antibind. If you do the same thing, it's going to overwrite the other one. Um, so unfortunately, when it comes to the antibind themselves, um, there isn't a quick and dirty way to do it. Because um, if I, let's say I take a look in here and I go all the way inside. Um, say for example, Clever edits um, a 0 Um Well, you have to understand that that one T is not just one animation. If I open my uh, animation files and I take a look in Dark Souls Animation Studio, um, don't worry about how to use this. You can watch the other video if you're curious about it. But if I take a look in here, a0 is like hundreds of different animations with different events. So sometimes you simply cannot completely merge mods. Um, but getting back into it, let's, um, let's start with the regulation. Let's say we want to merge the regulation. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to use Dark Souls Map Studio. You're not going to use Yapt. Do not use Yapt. If you use Yapt, I will throw your computer away. Go to File, New Project. Go to project name, let's name one of them Storm Demon. You don't have to name it, but it's pretty important to keep things cleanly organized. And you're going to make the project folder for Storm Demon, project directory, where the regulation is. It's not showing up um, just because this is just uh, selecting the folder. It's not trying to select a file, but this is where the regulation is. It's the same thing, uh, just to make sure you understand. Um, so I'm going to select that folder for the game executable. I'm going to, of course, select the game at exe. Click create. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, but the easiest way to do it is by selecting these. The green ones, by the way, the green ones are the ones that have been edited. Because um, Dark Souls Map Studio is comparing these params to the vanilla params. And the green ones are the ones Clever changed. So we got that done. Uh, let's say we want to, um, there's several things that can merge, but let's just start with one thing. We want to merge attack params, which uh, indicates how much damage you're doing to an enemy. Click a row over here, uh, go to the top search bar and search modified, and then press Control A, go to edit, Export CSV to file, all. It, when it says all, it means all that's selected. Put it somewhere organized. I'm going to put it in the Storm Demon folder. And I'm going to name it the tap param. So now we have all of these exported as a CSV. Let's make another project for the other one, which is called, I forget the name of it. Uh, the other one is Earthbender. Uh, do the same thing, select directories. Create. Uh, this one's a bit out of date, so it's going to say upgrade params. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just do that right now. I have another video on how to um, update a mod, but I'm going to do this real quick. 1.07.1. Uh, we're going to go to the same thing, tap param PC. And all we have to do here is go, we don't have to select anything. Now we can just go to file. Add it, import CSV from file, all. Um, go to the CSV that you exported. Double click it. And if you want to see if it's in there now, just search modified. And there they are. So, um, for really, you have to understand for really big mods, like Elder Moon Reforge and um, Guardian of Ice mods, Apple mods, uh, what else is there? Um, 
overhaul mods. They're going to change a lot of these params, meaning it's going to take a while to merge it, which is why you might find that when you hop in a Discord server and you say, the first thing you say is, how do I merge these mods? People are going to tell you to shut the fuck up because we get hundreds and hundreds of people asking how to do that. <coughs> so, but if you really want to merge some mods, this is how you do it. And keep in mind, you don't have to do it for all of these. Just do it for the green ones. And that's going to be the merging of the regulation file, which is just the parameters. All right, so let's go look at the, uh, the animations themselves. So sometimes you can merge it. Sometimes you can't, like I said earlier. What we're going to have to do is go to games. Uh, sorry, not games. Uh, we're going to have to go to the uh, mod pages and kind of cross our fingers and hope that the mod author posted the page that we edited. So this one's earthbending. And Clever was nice enough to change the, tell us the taste they changed. A42, A613, A938. Same thing here. Let's take a look down here. Those are nice screenshots. Um, by the way, if you want to, um, if you want these mods, they're made by um, Clever. He does a great job, and he makes a lot of animation mods. Um, so since we're importing everything into the Earthbending mod, all I'm worried about is what the storm blades tays are right here, um, because I'm just gonna drag those over to the Earthbending mod. Let's open this in a new tab. Actually, I'll do a new window so you can see both of them. Uh, so this one's Storm Demon. I'm going to be dragging those over. Go to Character. I'm going to go inside the Anabind. Go to the Tay. Same thing here. If you're wondering how I'm opening these files, I'm using something called Yabber. Um, you'll usually have to drag it onto Yabber, but I have it set to my right click menu just so I'm a little faster. So here are the Tays. Um, looks like... Clever was nice enough to give extreme details as well. Anyways, he edited uh, A48, 755, 659. Uh, and make sure none of these are the same. If they're the exact same, it's just going to overwrite it. 48, 755, 659. So it looks like we're good to go. So all I got to do is look for those tays. 48, 755, 659. So I'm going to click on those. Hold control and click what I want, 755, and drag those over. And click yes when you want to replace the files. And then now, I just go to earthbending, I go back to the care file, like outside of that Hubbard file, and I right click or drag it, you might have, you might drag it on the exe and click Yabber. And now it's good to go, if anything gets fucked up, Yabber puts in a backup right here. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. So these are the basics of how to merge mods. Um, sometimes Clever, for example, he might retarget animations, which means changing the animations themselves, uh, which you'll find here. Uh, and to clarify, Tays are not the animations themselves. Tays are just what the animations do, the events of the animation. These are the actual movement animations. And it looks like, unfortunately, these kind of edit the same animations, so we're going to have to kind of work with that. So we have C000, A4X, same thing over here. I'm going to drag this from Storm Demon into Urban. But I cannot just do this. It's going to overwrite it. So let's look inside here. And there's all of the animations. There's a lot of them, I know. Same thing over here. Uh, go into here. And I doubt I'm going to sit here and select all the animations that are changed. Um, but say this is A4X, for example. That means it's animations that start with 40 all the way up to 49. And if I go here, these are the actual animation numbers. Um, I'm not going to sit here and drag them all over. I'll do one just to show you. So say one says... A048, uh, 30,010. Look for the same thing over here. I could use the search bar, but Windows search is pretty shitty. A48, uh, 30,010. Uh, it looks like that one's not this for whatever reason. 
um, but we can do 3020, which is a uh, spin slash right here. We're just going to drag it over and place the file and go all the way back out and grab it again. So that's how you replace, uh, that's how you merge the animations themselves. Of course, this has a limit. If these have the same IDs as the one in the other mod, um, you can't merge it. It's just going to overwrite it. Um, and the mod author has to be kind enough to give you all these IDs. As you can see in Earthbending new moveset, he doesn't give you the IDs. Uh, more than likely, it's because it's just a lot of work, unfortunately. Um, and sometimes you can get in the merge perfectly, sometimes you can't. But hopefully this gets you started, and that way you're not overwhelmed when it comes to merging mods. And then when you're ready to play, you can use the one that you drop the files onto. For example, in this example, it's earthbending, and I can go have fun.